This next segment is sponsored by Lazy Boy. Life in 21st century America can be stressful work, inflation, politics, families, the kids' schedules. I mean, we are a nation always on the go. However, a just-released survey reveals that Americans may finally be getting the message that taking international intentional moments of laziness isn't always a negative. It can be good for the body and the spirit. Joining us to talk more about this survey and give some insight is Dr. Sue Varma, a psychiatrist and author of Practical Optimism the art, science, and practice of exceptional well-being. Dr. Varma, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so tell us about some of the most interesting findings um, from this survey. So I was fascinated by the fact that this Harris Poll survey commissioned by Lazy Boy found that 90% of people think of laziness as a form of self-care. So I was like, wow, that means our attitudes are really shifting because I know growing up that laziness was always considered, you know, bad or you're not being productive enough. And while that's real, the, st the survey also found that two thirds of people feel guilty about taking time off. But the emphasis, the take home for me was even though we feel guilty, we know we need to do it for our health. And I feel like once you tell a person that something is good for their health, you know, their, their ears perk up and they're more likely to follow through on it. You know, Dr. Varmer, I am one of those people that I'm always on the go. I always feel like I have to be doing something. Um, but why do we feel so guilty when we do nothing at all? You know, there's so much pressure on us to succeed. And I feel like social media only magnifies that. Mm -hmm. You know, there always was this idea of keeping up with the Joneses or like pressure from school and, you know, college to, you know, what are you going to do next? The minute you have, you know, like, for example, if you're a parent, the minute you have one kid, they're like, when are you having the second? You have two. When are you having the third? This this idea of keep going, achieving more is better. And I feel like that's very much a cultural value. But um, we're seeing really like a shift where people are, are pushing back on that idea and they're like no I want to do what's best for my health so that's what this study really says that like laziness and relaxation are part of uh, the whole idea of mental and physical well-being and you really can't separate the two you know you mentioned shift so how can we shift our mindset to see laziness as a beneficial practice so the first thing is just like understanding the science behind it and how from head to toe laziness has benefits mental health and physical health and then it has to do with being intentional about the time and the place where you carve out these um, what I call oasis moments. And I've come up with this idea of a Zen Den where a person dedicates a space in their house and it could be a chair, it could be a lazy boy recliner, it could be a throw pillow, it could be a yoga mat. I mean, whatever is accessible to you. But it says on every couple of hours, I'm going to take a break. It could be five minutes, it could be 10 minutes. But my rest is just as important to my productivity as my hustle is. And I feel like that's important, that, that carving out the deliberateness. Yeah. And so what are the benefits of not going 100 miles per hour all the time? There are so many benefits, like like studies are showing that um, from head to toe, less anxiety, less depression. These are the some of the benefits of leisure, um, less inflammation in the body, less heart disease, less strokes. I mean, everything that are like the top three killers in the United States, like heart disease, cancer, you know, anything that you can think of um, that chronic illness, the core of it is inflammation and that the core of inflammation is chronic stress. So investing in these few moments, and it doesn't seem like a lot, but 20 minutes a day, whether it's in the form of a nap, whether it's 20 minutes broken down into five minute increments, all of that says, I value myself. And people who value themselves tend to take care of their physical and mental health better. Awesome, awesome. Where can our viewers learn more information? So lazyboy.com and visiting your nearest um, Lazy Boy retailer are some great ways to carve out these intentional lazy moments in your day. Dr. Sue Varma, thank you so much for uh, joining us on the show. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.